Hello, GovCon winners, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all around how you can become a federal government contractor for zero dollars. Yes, that's right. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Kizzy Parks. I've been awarded well over $50 million. So I had this question recently come up from an amazing viewer. They asked, how much does it cost to set up a federal government contracting company? And I'm here to tell you, you can start at zero. Yes, you heard me. You can. I know what you all are thinking. Zero, come on. She's got to be kidding me. Let's walk you through it. I'm going to do that. First and foremost, what you need is a tax ID number. You can obtain a tax ID number as a sole proprietor. You can use your legal name to register with the IRS to obtain a free tax ID number. You can also create a doing business as connected to your name as a sole proprietor. You can do that. Next, you are going to need an address. Well, here in the great state of Florida, you can legally use your residence as your address. So no additional cost, okay? Just bare bones. Kind of even put aside the DBA, okay? Because some places they might charge you to file a DBA, but let's just put that aside, right? Then what you do is you go to sam.gov to register your business. And once you're there, you're going to enter in all of this information, primarily information about you because you are the business owner. You're going to need to show them a copy of your driver's license. I believe you're going to have to hold it up and they're going to take a picture of it. They need to verify that you are a U.S citizen they need to verify all the information that you are claiming because by obtaining a sam approval and receiving that uei number they're verifying that you can legally receive prime federal government contracts so this is important so they're going to ask for information it costs zero dollars to provide this they're also going to ask you for a bank account you register it as a sole proprietor. You can give them your personal bank account. Can you go back and add a doing business as if you want to? Of course. Can you change your bank account information later on? Of course. Can you change your address? Of course. So to just get started, to get that ticket so that you can actually bid on prime government contracts, Right now, we're at zero dollars. You may be thinking, okay, Kizzy, yeah, but what about when I win work or if some work comes up? Hey, let's say you're in construction. Let's say you're in training. Let's say you're in IT. You're in some kind of services kind of area. This is what I did. When I first started out, I had to take a loan on my 401k account. I don't want you to have to do that. So that was just to pay for my bills, okay? The way I handled contractors is I did this, and this is very important. I informed them, listen, I have this opportunity. I have this one-day training event. I would love for you to be a part of it. I just want to let you know I am not going to be able to pay you until after I am paid by the federal government. And the amazing thing about the federal government, they always pay. I have never in over 10 years, been in a situation in which the government said, I'm just kidding, psych, we're not paying you. Try again, Kizzy. Never, never, never. And there are people out there that will say, you know what? I respect that. I appreciate the fact that you told me ahead of time. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I respect that. So now we're still at free. We're at zero, right? You use sole proprietorship approach. Use your home address, home phone number, your personal bank account, and you're informing people, I will pay you after I am paid. There are also different opportunities, if needed, to take out potentially some type of um, credit 
If you need to buy supplies, depending on the company, for instance, when I first started out, ooh, I did not factor in needing to spend thousands of dollars at Office Depot for student materials. Imagine that. Didn't even factor it in. And I remember I was in tears learning that the bill at Office Depot states away was so high. I didn't know I was going to pay. I didn't have money for it. And thankfully, they said, hey, we have this internal line of credit and don't worry about it. We're, we immediately approved you and you can pay it later on. This was not a credit card. It was this interesting line of credit that Office Depot had at the time. And it was a godsend because I didn't have the money to pay for any of those things. So you never know unless you ask. You don't want to be in that position, right? Don't want to be in tears, right? So there are those type of situations. You also may be thinking, really? I, I promise you, this works because you drive the ship. You are the captain of the ship. You are the owner of the government contracting company. My flagship company has a relationship with IBM. Their account payable terms are, are you ready for this? 90 days, 90 days. So why is it that IBM can pay vendors within 90 days, but you're hesitant to ask someone to perform services and inform them that you will pay them after you are paid? Why are they on this pedestal and you're not? You're an entrepreneur. You're a freaking GovCon winner. That's why you're here. You're amazing. So you can do the same thing. Now, digging a little deeper, if you need an email address, free, get it at Gmail. If you have a DBA, it could be jxe at gmail.com, right? It's free. Again, this is something you can change. Easy fixes. Let's say you're like, man, but I'm not going to have a website. Guess what? On LinkedIn, you can create a company page from your page for free. And what you can do is give out your LinkedIn page and place that in your SAM profile. Because LinkedIn is very government friendly. No one's going to question it because you're just starting out. And when you're first starting out, you don't want to accumulate a ton of debt. You need to focus on getting sales, not a fancy website and business cards and an office and a chair and a fancy email address. And you have no clients. That is a going out of business approach. And that's not how we are because we are GovCon winners. Y'all know this. Also, in case you're like, well, what about a logo and my color scheme? Free. Let me show you. Just give me a second here. There are numerous websites like this. You literally go to Google and you type in free logo and you're going to see a ton of them. This is the first one I chose. I've used brand crowd before and I have used others for different projects. Say your company's JXE. Let's say we want to say federal government contracting. Ooh, text icon and text or text only. I'm going to do both. And you can see it has generated 9,600 logo design. And these are free. That's what's so cool about it. There's got to be something here that you can stand by that you're like, look, it's free. I can use this in the interim. Why not? And you can change things up. It gives you all these cool little options. I mean, this one is nice. You know, just you just need something basic. The government isn't going to purchase from you because you have a multi-million dollar logo. I mean, unless maybe you're selling them logo services or something, but I have never in my life had an agency say, oh my gosh, QC, we looked at your proposal and your cover sheet and logo KPC just blew us away. We want to give you this contract. Please take this contract. Mm -mm. No, it's you, it's your value. And that is how you start out in this space for zero dollars. My amazing GovCon winner. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful to you. Please hit that notification button, subscribe, comment below, anything I missed, anything you want, what, anything else you want me to cover, I would love to do it. Don't forget, especially all my returning people. And if you're new, you're gonna hear it. Everything is possible. Awesome.